Yo guys, what's going on? So it's Lee, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens, along with some image and video samples at the end. So the Canon 10 to 18 mm lens is a fantastic wide-angle lens for crop sensor bodies, meaning you can get everything in the frame with ease. This lens is very popular with vloggers as you can get a much wider shot and as the lens is very lightweight it is also very easy to carry around on your camera for long periods of time. So on the lens itself you have an autofocus and manual focus selector. This allows you to switch between manual and autofocus and you also have a image stabilization switch. So you can turn that on and off when using the lens, a very nice feature to have on a lens at this price point. This lens also has an STM motor for autofocusing, which gives you very fast and almost silent autofocusing, making it perfect for video creators as the noise off the lens focusing won't be picked up by the microphone. This lens is also great for landscape shops as it offers sharp images at both 10 and 18 mm ranges. The max aperture, however, on this lens is f4.5, meaning it's not going to be the best in low light situations, however, it is still a fantastic lens. Okay guys, so let's jump into some of the sample shots with this lens. I will be using it on my Canon 77D and I'll overlay the settings on each shot used in each sample. Okay guys, so here is some samples I just shot and I've imported the images into Lightroom. These are raw files um, taken from my Canon 77D. So this is the first shot I took. So it's uh, ISO 500, it's at 10 mil, f4.5 and 1 100th of a second. So you can see this is zoomed in here one to one, so it's pretty damn sharp. Um, one thing I do want to mention is the distortion the lens will have at this wide angle lens. So if you scroll down actually to correct it, we can see actually what it does. So if we click in Lightroom, enable lens corrections, you, so you can see the table here at the bottom straightens out a lot. So you can see this distortion kind of warping effect this has at the wide angle. It's kind of bridging into fisheye here at this wide angle 10 mil so this is the kind of effect you get um, so just be aware of that it is easy enough to fix in most images like this though so you can see there that is it fixed and also a little bit of vignetting around the edges as well you can see here these dark edges and if i enable the profile correction that fixes it so just something to be aware of but it is easy enough to fix and now this is the exact same shot, but this is 18 mil. So you can see the difference in 18 mil and 10 mil. So 10 mil and 18 mil. And you can, see, you can see this is very sharp as well. And if we enable the profile corrections, you can see a little bit there, not as noticeable as you can see the bottom of the table this time. And the next two shots are the same. This is 10 mil, just to kind of give you a more perspective of the difference in the two focal ranges. So this is 10 mil, we can zoom in one to one very sharp as well as I obviously focused on this little brotherhood of steel uh, pop vinyl and this one is 18 mil so you can see the difference in the focal ranges you can get So guys, overall, I think this is a fantastic lens as an upgrade from your kit lens on your crop sensor camera. It's one of the must have lenses as you, get, as you can get those wide angle shots and is also perfect for video. So you can pick this lens up for about 200 pounds or 150 pounds used, which is great value for money considering what you're getting. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer. 
Also guys, if you want, you can check out my website so you can see more of my photography and also you, you can buy some prints on there too and there's some other useful information. There'll be a link in the description. Also guys, thank you very much for getting me to 200 subscribers. We just hit this a couple of days ago and it seems like yesterday I hit 50, which was a milestone for myself, but we've just hit 200, which is awesome. So thank you for everyone that is subscribing and hopefully I will see loads more of you guys in the future. Anyway guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button for more, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.